Hi guys, welcome back to Reading the Word and Understanding the Bible Verse. Today I read Acts chapter 12 and chapter 13. And in chapter 12, what I find interesting is how King Herod wanted to stop the word of Jesus spreading. So first he arrests James, who was, who was, who was part of the church. He arrests James and kills him. Then he arrests Peter. And Peter goes into prison and he is in chains and locked up with two other security guards around him, plus four more security guards guarding the entrance. And an angel of the Lord comes to him and says, put on your clothes and sandals and follow me. So Peter does this and Peter follows him, right? And then verse 11 is what stood out to me the most. And it says, then Peter comes to himself and says, now I know without a doubt that Jesus has sent, that the Lord has sent an angel to rescue me. Herod's clutches from everything the Jews people were hoping would happen. So Herod and the Jews, right, were hoping that that King Herod was going to kill Peter too because he was spreading the word of Jesus. He was a follower of Jesus. He was spreading the kingdom of God. And when they found out that he escaped, King Herod was mad and King Herod had the every the guards who were guarding Peter executed. Think about how cruel that was during that time period that you could be a, a guard who was guarding Peter and just executed because they couldn't find Peter anywhere. Because Peter escaped because the angel of God was with followed help Peter escape. So that way Peter wouldn't be executed. And also what I find interesting is this, is that how King Herod died was the people were, seems like to me in verse 22, it says, they were shouting this, in the, they were shouting this in a voice of God, not of a man. So King Herod's speech, they were saying that King Herod was like a God and he wasn't a man. This is in, so the Jews were shouting this. And the Lord sent an angel to come down. And he was eaten by worms and died. That is very powerful and very interesting. That he was, that he was eaten by worms and died. Why? Because he didn't. He didn't praise God. King Herod didn't praise God, so he died. But, verse 24 is the most best part. But the word of God continued to increase and spread. That is awesome. That, here comes the Jews. They they thought, okay, we're going to stop Jesus from spreading here. And so did King Herod. King Herod dies. And the word of God continues to spread throughout the region. And I think that's the most coolest thing about this because that's how we get to know Christ today is by people spreading the Bible, spreading the gospel, and not letting people stop them from spreading the word of God. And I think that's something that we have to learn as being born again Christians is that we can't have a fear of what other people think when we are spreading the word or when we will or Jesus should or, or Jesus has or anything in the name of Jesus. We can't be scared of what people think because what they think, let them think it. Let them say, oh, he's a follower of Jesus. Fine, let them think that because they're the ones that are going to go through the trouble. They're the ones that are going to go through the hardship and they're the ones that are going to be crying when the lake of fire happens, when hell really does happen, and they're going to be 
wanting to come to heaven and they can't. So the awesome thing is, is that what we need to do is be brave, be strong, be bold in the name of the Lord and keep on sharing his word, keep on sharing his gospel and keep on spreading the love of Jesus in the world because without us spreading the love of Jesus, it's people can't be saved. People can't recognize the beauty and love that Christ has for us. So I want you guys to understand that we have to be like we have to be like Peter and know that even though why Peter was in a hard time, he was he was chained. Peter seen James get killed. So we have to know that God is always gonna be with us, no matter how bad the situation is. Peter didn't realize that an angel was saving him. He thought he was seeing a vision until he realized that he was out of the out of the second gate. And he was like, okay, now I definitely know that this was an angel protecting me. And so, an angel, God could always send an angel to protect you and save you. Just have faith like Peter did. So I pray this helps you guys today. Pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day. Love you guys and God bless.